Hi, this is John Forkes. Welcome to the uh, class of electrical technology. I have with me Alexis Penola, who assisted me in programming the conventional boiler combustion process into a PLC control device. Yes, that's it. Uh, today, the participants will be introduced to this lab on how to program the automatic combustion process of a ship's boiler. Uh, this is our subject, Electro Technology, and we are now going to explain the, the ladder diagram for automatic boiler automation. And this is our diagram, and based on this diagram, we, we create a ladder diagram in order to input this to our PLC. So this is our I1, and this switches are for reset and this is for the low oil pressure this is for the flame failure and this is for the low water level these are all uh, normally closed switches this is our Q1 our Q1 is our fuel pump and this is our Q2 our Q2 is the force drop fan and our Q3 is the timer timer delay for the ignition so we will start the simulation and able to know the function of this. So pressing I1 will energize Q1. So our pump, FO pump will now running. And then pressing for the I6, this is our manual start pump and our I7 is the steam pressure switch so we are, we are just using manually uh, i6 will start q2 and timer counts energizing q3 our ignition and then ignition will be reset by timer t2 and then i6 will autom automatically reset the m4 in order to cut off the timer one for the ignition and then if any failure occurs any of these cut off switches will will be ener energized the supply of the force drop one will cut off just like this for the i2 pressing i2 will cut off the force drop one and also for the ignition and then reset i2 even in I3, our for low low oil pressure also will trigger cut off the supply. Same as with the I4, our flame failure also cut off the supply, and so on with the low water level, the I5. diagram of the OLR automation. So I, I just have programmed the ladder diagram in, the, in our PLC. This is what this is the ladder diagram I being input in the PLC. So what I will doing now is to have connections wiring for the in order to give how this ladder diagram works with the help of our PLC. So first, this is our I1, our, our input one, so we have to give 24 volts for our I1. And then 
its output will go for the input I1. And since I1 will go for the output of Q1, we have to give power for the I1. So Q1, we have for I1 then output for the Q1 and we'll connect we'll connect it and this will serve as our fuel pump. So this this light will serve us as our fuel pump. So to give a close look, we will connect ground here. And then for the I6 input of our I6, this will serve as our I6 input. We will give positive here for the I6 and then its output will go for the input of the PLC, its I6. And after, since we will go for the Q2, for an output in Q2, we will give uh, positive here for Q2. For the output of Q2, this will serve as our first drop fan. So to give a close look, we will go to connect negative here, same connection, negative. Then for the I7, we will make connection for I7, so give positive for the I7, positive connection, and then going for the input for I7. So since we will go for our Q3, our Q3 is our for the ignition we will give the positive supply for Q3 here positive supply and output for Q3 this will serve as our output for Q3 positive here and for the close loop we will connect negative and then connect here the same line, negative. And we are connecting also light for the alarm. So we will use Q4 for just an indication of a failure. We will give positive power for the Q4. And then its output going here. So for the close loop, ground, same line. So that's all for the wiring. So we need to test. So to know if our diagram will work. So we need to run the PLC. Step to run. And I1. I1 will trigger Q1. So Q1 will running now. So we have the fuel oil pump running. So pressing I6 will, will energize Q2, our force drop pad. So force drop pad is now running. Also with a timer for the ignition, the ignition here. And we are giving all the simulation for the faults. If there's any fault. It will trigger all. It will off. If any fault here happens for the, this is our fault for the I2. This is for the reset. I3 for the low oil pressure. This is the I4 for the fail failure and I5 for the low water level failure. So if there's any fault, it will trigger that there's a fault in the system. So. It, so even if it comes from the reset here, I2 reset, or from the low oil pressure, or from the flame failure, and for the low water level, there's an indicator that there's a fault in the system. So that's all for the simulation here. And engine cadet Ray Deloso from Fairmont Shipping.